Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today I want to talk about how to get Jupyter Notebooks up and running. Um, Jupyter Notebooks are a great way to execute Python code and in fact it uses Python so the very first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that we have Python installed. So to do that let's just go ahead and launch a command prompt and type in Python space dash dash version and if you have Python something that should show up. Uh, in this case I don't have it so you can see we're going to have to get that. Another way that you can check this is uh, let's go ahead and search for environment if I could spell that let's look at the environment variables on your system come here and click on environment variables and if you come up here to your user variables and you come to the path variable and if you hit edit you should see if you had Python there should be a couple of lines here related to Python so as you can see I don't have Python installed on this machine so that's the very first thing that we're gonna want to do um, and uh, let's see, the easiest way to do that is just to fire up a browser and uh, go to Google and search for Python. And here it is, python.org. I'll come here to downloads and I'm gonna get it for Windows. So I'm gonna get 3.14.0. And uh, once that downloads, here it is. Let's just go ahead and double click on the installer and we will run through this. Um, one thing that we wanna do here when you're installing this, down here you it says add python.exe to path so make sure you check that um and we'll see why in a second but basically if you check this and add this to the path we should now be ready to install so i'm just going to click on install now let this thing go and we'll be back when it's finished all right it looked like it finished so uh let's go ahead and just hit close and now we should have python installed so if we go and do this again come here to the command prompt and type in python uh, space dash dash version aha there it is that is there and also let's go ahead and double check that our environment variables got set correctly remember we set that and said add python to the path so let's come here to our environment variables come here to the path variable again and now let's take a look and aha now we've got these three Python um, paths added to our system environment variable, environment variable path. Okay, so that looks great. So uh, let's go ahead and take some next steps. Okay, so now we are going to use the Python package manager, which is called pip, to install uh, Jupyter Notebook. So maybe the first thing we should do is let's make sure that we've got pip on our machine. So again, just do a pip space dash dash version okay so here it is uh it found pip so now what we can do is we can use this package manager to install uh the jupyter notebook so just go ahead and say pip space install space j-u-p-y-t-e-r so jupyter okay and then hit enter and uh this is going to start downloading everything we need for it so let's let this thing run and we'll be back when it's finished all right, so it looked like it finished, and just to double check, let's just go ahead and type in Jupyter space dash dash version, and uh, we should be able to get a report on all of the packages that are being used right now. So there we go, we've got it all set up. Okay, so now let's think about actually going ahead and firing up the Jupyter Notebook. So to do that, let me go ahead and I'm gonna start a, uh, a folder somewhere. Maybe I'll just do this on my C drive. Let me create a new folder. And let's call it, how about Jupyter Demo, okay? There we go, okay? So I've just got an empty folder right here um, in C uh, slash Jupyter Demo. Let me just copy this file path, okay? And I'll come back to my, my command prompt and let's just go ahead and change the directory there, right? So here we are, we should be here in this empty folder. Let me move this off to one side, okay? Uh, like that. Great, now what we can do is if we go ahead and just type in Jupyter space notebook, okay? That should fire up here inside this folder. It should start up and, uh, oh, it popped over here on another screen. Let me pull it over. Let me see, it's pulling up this. Here we are, okay? So we've got this empty interface. Uh, so what we can now do is I can come over here and click on new. Python 3 as my kernel and check this out it just created this IPYNB file so this is my empty Jupyter notebook so I can now start doing uh, simple things like let's just do a simple hello world in Python so print hello world exclamation mark 
end quote, uh, in parentheses. Okay, so here is a line of Python code. I want to execute this. So in a Jupyter Notebook, all you have to do is click on this little run button, um, which will execute all the commands within a cell. And we'll talk about this a little bit later. I just want to focus on just getting this installed and up and running to start. So let's just click on that and the, voila, there we go. It executed the line and it showed us the output. So now we can do things like, you know, x equals uh, 15, right? And then let's try our shift enter to get that in. And aha, that went in. I can do things like y equals minus 1.5. And then actually, if, uh, instead of hitting shift enter, I'll just hit enter right here to get another command in this line. So how about z is x plus y? There we go. So let's shift enter. That got uh, executed. And now how about let's go ahead and print the value of z and shift enter and aha, this is looking great. This is all working. So now let's go ahead and save our file right now. So I'll just go ahead and save the notebook. I don't like this thing called untitled. This is kind of a silly name. So let's go ahead and rename this. And how about we'll call this, how about uh, Lum Jupiter Demo? And I'll hit rename. And what you should hopefully see is, yep, it changes over here on the side. So this is great. So we've got this all set. Now let's go ahead and pretend like we want to quit and come back just to show that we can get back here. So let me go ahead and I will close my um, browser windows here. Notice that the um, Jupyter Notebook uh, interface and kernel is still running in the background. So let's go ahead and close this, okay? And now all you need is basically this IPY file. So again, let's just go back and just verify that we can get back to where we were. So I'm just going to come here. I'll go and launch my command window. Let's just go ahead and again, change the directory over here. So I'll CD to that location and then just Jupyter space notebook to start up the kernel again. Okay. Give that a second and it hopefully should show me that, hey, there's an available file that you could open. Aha, there it is, right? So I should just be able to click on this and aha, here we are again. And I can now think about even running, you know, one cell or I could run um, all the cells. Maybe that's the easiest way to do this. Let's just run this. There you go. And we're basically back to where we want it, uh, back to where we were. So here you go. This is a very quick, easy video. I just want to show how to get the Jupyter Notebook downloaded, installed, and up and running. We'll have some additional videos talking about how to actually use it for some more interesting things, including adding things like Markdown um, and comments and uh, other Python code and things like that. So with that being said, I think this is probably a great spot to leave it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if so, I also hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. We've got more videos on tools like Jupyter Notebooks or Mathematica Notebooks or anything like that coming up in the future. So I hope I'll catch you in a future discussion. Until then, I'll sign off. Talk to you later. Bye.